Well, tonight was the last chance for people in Baltimore City to directly address Acting Police Commissioner Richard Worley before the City Council votes on whether to confirm him as head of the Police Department. Kelsey Kushner joins us in the studio with more. And Kelsey, what kind of questions were people asking? What are their concerns? Well, Denise, this was another chance for neighbors to really ask their questions to Acting Commissioner Police, Acting Police Commissioner Rich Worley, uh, about what they want to see happen, you know, in Baltimore City, and to really get a better direction um, or idea of the direction that the police department plans to go in. So, before tonight's meeting, we also heard from Mayor Scott about why he is confident in Worley as Baltimore's new top cop. That is my number one priority to enhance community trust. Inside Greater Paradise Christian Church, Tuesday night, Acting Commissioner Rich Worley gave his final pitch to neighbors as to why he should be Baltimore City's top cop. You will see more officers out on foot. You'll see more in community engagement through my tenure. This was the seventh and final community meeting hosted by the Acting Commissioner and Mayor Brandon Scott. Dozens of neighbors lined up to ask questions about Worley's plan for the future with the department. Questions focused on the consent decree, teen violence, vacant housing, and how Worley plans to build trust with the department. What is the Baltimore City Police Office bound to do? Like, what are their duties? Like, literally, somebody could stand in front of them and get murdered. And y'all can't do nothing. So what is that? That's my question. And duty is to be to protect, protect and serve. Worley has served as the interim police commissioner since June, following Michael Harrison's resignation. Mayor Brandon Scott has been vocal about his approval of this decision, saying Worley is best fit for the role. Before tonight's meeting, Scott doubled down on Worley as his top pick. Last night, we we had over 500 people on a telephone town hall, and we polled them, and they pushed a button, and we asked them, do they think uh, that Commissioner Worley understood them and and has the right priorities to lead the police department? And over. 50 Fifty percent of them said that he did. And as for when the acting commissioner will be officially the head of the city police department, the city council is expected to vote on whether or not to confirm him next month. Denise. All right. Thank you, Kelsey.